welcome back to this particular video in this particular video we want to take a look at um, user persona so let me just duplicate this drag it here yeah and um, call this user persona all right so let's see how we can create a user persona from some of the answers that we've gotten from our survey questions as well right so for me to do this there are several ways you can go about it right you can click on the templates um here and search for persona if you search for persona you should be able to see something right you see this is a user persona template or any other template that you see so let's take a look at this particular persona i'll click on insert templates once i click on insert template it automatically appear here inside of my design and we'll take a look at this sample persona that this um individual created you could see that um it has like the picture of the individual their age occupation so all of these are like their demography and geography falls in here this is part of their demography as well bio and personality so after that um there is interest there's area to feel interest influences goals needs and expectations motivations and pain points or frustrations right so if this is what i want to use i would ensure that i capture uh and some of these things inside my survey question so that i will have some answers that i will feel but unfortunately there is no any of my question that will help me capture like their interest that will help me capture for example if i want to feel in interest i would have asked questions like um 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 what kind of fashion items are you always interested in or what kind of product are you always in interested in when shopping online and stuff like that so whatever um information they give me on that in that particular question i can use that to fill in the interest so this is what i'm trying to say again everything boils down to your survey questions right so if you want to fill a certain field instead of your user persona or instead of your empathy map you want to ensure that you capture all of that inside of your survey questions so you'll be asking the right question that you need to fill in the right field right so i will not be using this particular template I'll be creating my own template that we're going to be using here because I didn't ask a lot of questions to fill in all of these things. So I'll just create a simple uh, um, personal template here. So I'll just delete this one and I'll create mine from scratch. So what I want to do now is I want to still use the same image in my persona. So I'm going to duplicate this image. So I'm going to duplicate it by say Ctrl D. It will duplicate it for me. Then I'll bring it here. Then I can actually um change this instead of circular i'll move it back to landscape okay not landscape um portrait yeah portrait portrait seems good then i'll drag it a little bit something like this should be okay okay something like this should be okay for me actually it's not okay i would um resize it later then i could also um crop it a little bit just something like this should be fine something like this should be fine all right this is cool then i'll drop it down here all right i'll drop it down here as my user persona i'll drop it down here all right cool then i will need some of this rectangular box all right let me use this one i used to draw a simple rectangular box something like this should be okay i'll change the color to something like this okay this is cool actually then if i take it further i could hold my sheet and tap and hit the arrow key once just to have that measurement well aligned all right so i have it like this next thing i want to do now i will insert a text in here i'll type a text in here then i can call this john uh okay let's call it jane since a lady let's call it jane do so i'll type in her name basically and i'll try to give this name like um title text then uh title text seems to be very big the heading is okay i will give it like white of course make it bold all right make it bold all right this is cool all right this is cool for jane do just take it up a little bit this is cool so the next thing i want to do now let me duplicate this and um and writing on that text i'll give something like age so the age for jane do is let's say 22 i can want to fill in another information so as well i'll say location i'll say location and uh, location is uh let's say um she's somewhere in lagos nigeria so i'll type lagos nigeria all right this is cool then the next thing i want to do basically now i would um um, um reduce the size 
try to it to just fit in i'll not give it bold all right something like this is cool so this is my user persona and it's coming out nice so i have jane doe there let's see if we change this color to something else like black or so okay i think the white is better all right so I'm, we're going to leave it like this so the next thing is i want to also fill in my i fit in so with this stuff now i fit in um my demographics and geographics right so if i ask that's why i asked only what is your name and select your location so if i want to also fill in her bio i would have asked for her bio i'll, I'll ask her bio and ask them to enter the bio inside of equation so that or if i have the bio basically i should be able to like enter the bio and say something a little bit about them but since i don't have as i said a biography so i will not include that as well so the next thing i want to do now is to add another rectangular box um something like this should be okay so something like half like this all right so this time around i'll give it this color and um ensure that let us take it to the edge all right so that everything is well aligned basically all right this is cool this looks cool to me so the next thing i want to do now is to give it a text so let's write a simple text in here let's call this other one we'll call it pain point of frustration so let me just call it frustration frustration all right this is cool then i would um give it same heading this is the heading that we used previously for jdo but seems too big i'll give it um okay heading is cool let me give it not normal can't give it normal i'll give it subheading all right something like this is cool actually so this looks cool so this looks cool for the frustration right so i'll have something like this right for the frustration right amazing so i can duplicate this just allow me to duplicate this now i'll duplicate it a little bit i'll bring it in here yep so this is cool tap it forward a little bit try to ensure that this meets to that height all right that's cool and the next thing i want to do again i can duplicate this and put it in here a little bit tap it down a little bit and um ensure that this is just like this just put it like this and bring in this one here duplicate that i always hold alternate and drag to duplicate it that way just in case you're wondering how am i duplicating it so i'll put it in here now i'll name this um, um this will be habits so let's call this habits and uh, let's call this frustration or pain point then let's call this goals objective right so let us say goals so the most important thing that is very very important in user persona is the frustration and pain point frustration or pain point or goals and, and uh, goals and objective or objectives so you could call this pain points you could call this objectives either way they mean the same thing right so uh those are the important things so i have a simple user persona here it's for me to basically fill in these things right so for my i'll paste something now from my answer to my survey question i have some of this information that i want to use to create two user personas one for jindu and one for jindu right so let me just create a simple text here i'll paste it inside here and let's make this heading so that it's a little bit bigger all right so this is what we have so i have this my user one so this is her frustration so i'm going to copy this i'm going to copy all of this so i'll come in here i'll paste it oops i'll paste it in here and i'll ensure that it's not heading subheading could be uh and i would um make it something like this so that's i could make it like this then i'll delete the whole one two three thing there so this is a pain point right so these are pain points so put it in here so this is the pain point so you could see here that she is telling us now that Jendo is saying that being required to register to make purchase, she doesn't like it. Um, no clear navigation and difficulties in searching for intended item or product. No multiple payment option. Those are pain points whenever she is trying to use an e-commerce application. So let's copy this for goals as well. So this is our goal. So let's try and paste it here. And... Let's use subheading, something like this. Uh, let's resize it a little bit, give us something like this. So let's um just work on this a little bit. Work on this a little bit. Work on this a little bit. Alright. 
So let's take a look at the goals. The goals is want to check out without creating an account. Wow. So Jane wants a quick checkout. Want to quickly find items. Want decides to remember personal information and the rest need to develop trust to provide financial info. So all of these things is actually amazing. So the next thing I want to take a look at is a habit, right? So you might be wondering how I got the habit. I'll go back to my survey question. I said, um, how do you normally shop for items? So the, the answers that the users, the, the field in here, that I use as my habit. So I'll use that to fill in my habit now. So I'll copy this. I'll come in here and let me paste that to stay there and I'll bring it in here. Change this to subheading a little bit just to make it smaller. Then I would um, delete this one to three. Delete this as well. Delete this as well and ensure that it is bulleted like that. So I have that particular one for user one. So now I can um, basically select all of this. Right, and make it a group so that it will just be one thing, right? So we could just select all of that and make that a group, all right? So that's a group selection there, and everything it's looking nice. So let's create like two user personas. So I'm going to duplicate this and put it down here. And this time around, I want to I want another image here instead of John Doe. So we'll call this one John Doe. So you might not want to use John Doe, you want to use the actual name, right? So we'll call this one John Doe. So I would um try and bring it on that image let me bring it on that image and um like this image here okay this guy so I'll copy this guy and i'll use him here right so just try to so this will be our john do let me ensure that okay everything seems cool seems almost the same height basically the same everything so let's see let's zoom in a little bit and try to ensure that our stuff is resized to that particular one all right all right and i could basically edit this a bit and just like draw it closer to this point and yep okay i've resized it so i can just take it a step back and delete this let's ungroup this so i can select this and delete it all right cool so I have I have John Doe here age let's say John Doe is 32 and he's not in Lagos Abuja he's in he's in uh, he's not in Lagos he's in Abuja which is the capital of Nigeria just in case you're watching this you're not in Nigeria right so um this is it so this is Jane Doe then the frustration so he's a two frustration this is it Oh, I also feel in motivation. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. So what I would have done in here, since I have space for motivation, I didn't include motivation inside my user persona. Mm, 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 mm. There's a way I would have um, actually do something like this. Okay, let's let's iterate this. Let's iterate this. Come in. Let me just ungroup this for now. Let's see how we can have our motivations. Let's see if we do this like this and um, just minimize this a little bit. Okay. Minimize this a little bit. This will actually go for motivations actually. This will go. All right, this will this will be our habit then we could actually um see i could um bring in this to that level like this and uh, tab it a little bit all right so i have this here then i could also have like another of this that i can use as my motivation exactly so so this is this this, this looks cool then duplicate it then let's make this uh, motivation, right? So I'll call this more motivations. All right, it's cool. Then um, I'll copy this now. All right. So let's paste it in here. Then we we'll change this to, of course, this bulleted, of course, and um, delete this. 
all right this this looks cool this looks cool all right so this would be our motivation basically all right this is this is this is cool actually this is this is amazing so let me delete this so i don't want this actually let me just delete the habit area here and um, copy all of this area here and duplicate it down here ah fix feels feels great all right this this is cool now so we can actually make this also align to as well all right this is cool so let me select all of this and group it back all right this is cool so i have that so motivations return prices and the rest so so i would um add my frustrations of course you want to ask questions that will enable you to fill in your motivations as well so you want to know what you're feeling as well so i'll copy this now go to frustration here fill it for jane do for john do yeah, that's it then uh this is a group then small heading then everything fits in as well all right let me reduce this reduce this as well so i have something like this then goals let me copy this as well then i'll use this to fill in my goals let me delete this bring it in here change it to small heading bulleted lists and delete the number counts of course so you want to ensure that you fill in the right thing that you got from your survey form or paste it in here aha so this 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 is nice then um i'll copy this habit too as well copy it come over here and paste it uh this looks cool as well all right all right all right all right delete all of this and ensure that it's not heading of course this is small heading all right this is cool this looks cool then motivations as well i'll copy this as well i'll paste it in here of course <laughs> bulleted lists and i'm um, small heading oops um bulleted list then small heading all right all right i'll arrange it a little bit here and everything is coming out nice now so i don't need this so i'll delete this now so i can select everything group it a little bit drag it down a little bit so so this is my user persona so but unfortunately i did not copy john jindo so let me paste it in here let me bring it in here so I'll paste it so instead of john do let this guy's name be Jindo, let's guys in the jungle. So you could actually add two different names actually. So this is how I will synthesize and present my persona, right? So that when I group this together, everything should be in group actually. I'm good. All right, cool. All right, everything should be separate. All right, amazing. So let me group it back again. All right, so there are one now. One. So I can move everything together. Cool. I can move everything together. Oops. I can move everything together. Okay, cool. So this is my simple user persona. I presented as i said earlier on whatever answer you get from your survey question so which was answer to your survey question you can synthesize and create an empathy map and a user persona so this is us working on that particular area then as we proceed we'll take a look at other areas of user experience design as well so thank you for watching this video see you in the subsequent videos